Okay, just talking you through now uh, how to reverse a truck and a trailer, semi-trailer, around the corner on the right side or the driver's side. So we're starting on the, like we've just parked up about a metre from the kerb and we're reversing the trailer into that street there. So the idea is that we keep on our side of the road. Uh, so the aim is the street we're going into, we try and work out where the centre is. So we're aiming to get our trailer wheels just to come in on the, on the left side of that street. Uh, sometimes you're lucky there's a white line that you can use, but not so this time. Uh, now, so first of all, when you're going backwards, the idea is you just want to get a little bit of distance from the kerb with your prime mover because when it's time to turn, your prime mover is going to go hard toward the kerb and you don't want to hit the trees with your mirrors and you don't want the, your prime mover wheels to be hitting the kerb. So we're starting parallel with the kerb, but as soon, we, as soon as we start going, we're going to try and creep both the trailer and the prime mover away from the kerb. So we're, so the driver's just given a little turn there now and he should now bring the prime mover back in front of the trailer so that now both the prime mover and the trailer are straight and they're both creeping gently away from the kerb. So this will allow us a bit more space when it's time to turn um, that we've got some space where our cabin is between the cabin and the kerb. Okay, so the rear wheels, the trailer wheels are coming down now and they're getting towards closely now towards the start of that street where about that telegraph post is. So this is about now the point in time where you might do a nice hard turn. So the prime mover and the trailer now turn hard and twist to send that trailer, those trailer wheels towards the street and about now is when you'd straighten the prime mover back up because you've got best control when your prime mover is in front of your trailer and straight. We call this stage the chasing. So the prime mover is now chasing the trailer, trying to get back in front of it and lined up straight. And as that's happening, the trailer has, does actually continue to drift in the right direction, but you don't want it to drift too far. So right now, we want to get this prime mover back in front nice and quick now, before she starts. the trailer starts going on the wrong side of the road. So right now we're still turning, which we shouldn't be turning because you can see the trailer's going the wrong direction at the moment. So we left the, turn, the straighten up part a little bit too late. But if we bring him forward, we can fix that up. So about now you'd be, yeah, actually it is, you'd see those last little twist and straighten, you just turn the truck and straighten up again. It makes it nice and parallel. So once you get around the corner, there's a couple of small turns and straighten, small turns and straighten is how you fix things up. Okay, just gonna talk you through how to do a, uh, how to reverse a trailer around a corner. Tractor and trailer, or prime mover and semi-trailer, whatever you like to call it. So first and foremost, we're going around a 90 degree corner. Now one of the key parts is just First of all, starting about a metre from the kerb. Uh, and second of all, is finding the right point of time to start to turn. Now the correct place to turn is when your rear wheels get just, just at the start of the corner, which is where that big post is. So once those rear wheels get to that post, which is at the start of the corner, the prime mover is gonna do a good hard turn. Um, so about now is when your prime mover starts turning and what we call bending or twisting, prime mover in the trailer. So we turn it hard and then about halfway around we then would straighten him up a little bit more because you've got best control when the prime mover is in front of the truck. Uh, sorry the prime mover is in front of the trailer. So you don't want to hold the truck and trailer bent for too long. So it's kind of a bit more of a twist and straighten, twist and straighten kind of action that we're after. Um, so he's straightening up at the moment. You can see the front wheels of the prime mover. Uh, and the back wheels are just, uh, the prime mover is slowly creeping in front. And we've got that truck back in front of the trailer. Uh, now it's probably a series of just some small twists and straighten, twists and straighten, just to get the trailer and the prime mover parallel, uh, but you're not overturning it at this stage. So just a couple of small turns and back and forth, uh, which looks like he's turning a bit too far there. So he's gone away too far there. So he's probably gonna have to stop now before he hits the post and bring it forward. Bring it forward to straighten up. Oh, getting a bit nervous there. I thought you were going to hit the curb. 
So that last bit, rather than just doing some small twists and turn, twist and turn, he did a large turn and he started sending the trailer back up around the corner. Um, so now he's just going to do a little straighten up to get the prime mover and the truck back in front. Oh no, he's not. He's going to go back and have another pop to go and pop. So we'll just uh, talk you through this one once again. Um, so he's gone, he's got, getting the trailer back to about just at the start of the corner, which is right there. So he's going to start all over again, which is just getting it nice and straight and parallel. Yeah, so one of the key principles is that uh, twist and straighten, twist and straighten, or often call turn and chase. The chase is often ref a phrase referred to as the prime mover getting back in front so it's lined up nice and straight with the trailer, which it is right now. So this is called, you know, uh, the prime mover and the trailer, the prime mover and the trailer being straight, because that's when you've got best control. When it's moving to the left or the right, that's when you have less control and that's for you. Um, so this is the desired place right now. Okay, so the trailer, the prime mover and the trailer twisting now and the trailer is send, being sent in the right direction, which is around the corner. Now when you're turning, you don't want to turn too hard or else it takes far too long for the prime mover to come back in front of the trailer. And by the time it takes for your prime mover to get back in front, the trailer keeps turning, keeps turning, keeps turning and ends up going up on the curb. Uh, this UD here has got an excellent turning circle. As you can see, we can really turn it sharp and get it back in front in a hurry. Some other trucks, you don't have that luxury. It takes it's less turning circle, particularly the trucks with a big nose out in front. So this, this prime over here, this UD, is excellent for manoeuvring. Um, now, he's just got it around the corner. And let's see if we get it right this time. Now, this time, the idea is to just do some small, small turns. So if he just does a couple of small turns and straights it up now, we'll be right. But if he goes hard now, which is he's doing, he's going to send it back up on the on the curve, which is not what we 